Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy, Crush. Let's talk about the Los Angeles Lakers trading Russell Westbrook to the Utah Jazz, and the team is still struggling. The Lakers are currently 1-5 since they traded Russell Westbrook. So this whole time, them saying, let's get Russell Westbrook out of here, that's going to help us tremendously. They made some move, made a bunch of trades, got all these new players in, all these pieces, and the team is currently 1-5. in five. LeBron James is, you know, load managing, resting, I guess, preserving himself for the playoff. Anthony Davis is out here trying to drag the team, trying to win games, and they got one win in six games. And everything is, is a mess. So this whole time, everybody's blaming Russell Westbrook. Why did they bring Russell Westbrook to L.A.? It was a bad decision. It was a bad move. He don't fit. All this noise. All this chirping. And they got rid of him. And it's the same. Matter of fact, it's worse. They got rid of Russell Westbrook. And it's a worse result. The team is losing. They're losing all their games. And they're about to miss the playoff. And possibly the playing. While LeBron James is on vacation. Faking injury. He's not hurt, but he's faking injury. I don't know if he's preserving himself, which I think for the All-Star game, because maybe, you know, LeBron is very cerebral. LeBron is very cerebral. So he's probably thinking, you know what? KD won't be in this All-Star game. Steph Curry won't be in this All-Star game. So if I go in this All-Star game fully fresh, you know, rejuvenated, I could possibly win another All-Star MVP on top of breaking Kareem's record. So you know LeBron is cerebral. So. I'm sure he has that in the back of his mind because I don't know what, what would be the reason for LeBron to be load managing. And I know he's not hurt. I know he's not hurt. So Rob Palenka in the front office did all this. After all the crying, Russell Westbrook don't fit. He's toxic in the locker room. Russ never respected Frank Vogel. Darvin Ham came in, a more respectable person, coach. Got Russell Westbrook to buy in and come off the bench. And he was flourishing in his role. Don't get me wrong. There are games when he played bad. Everybody played bad. Some games. But beyond all that, he was giving you almost 10 assists and about 15 to 18 points off the bench. And rebounds. So he was playing pretty good. You know, he was in the running for sixth man of the year off the bench. Was doing his thing. Still, you know, everybody's complaining. Or most saying, you know, get rid of Russ. It's Russ' fault why they're losing. They shipped him out to Utah. He's out of town. And ever since, the team is 1-5. So this entire time, everybody's thinking it's Russell Westbrook. This entire time. Including me to a certain extent. Not 100%, but to a certain extent. It's Russell Westbrook. They moved him. And ever since they traded Russell Westbrook, the team is 1-5 in six games. So they're terrible without Russell Westbrook. Somebody make this make sense. But... Everybody blamed him and said he was the reason the team was losing. Everything was so bad and he's a bad fit. He doesn't fit with LeBron's game, which we know he don't fit. But was he really the reason why the team wasn't doing so well? And now ever since he's been traded, they've just been losing. They've been losing games. So in a sense, in a nutshell, the Lakers were better off with Russell Westbrook than without him. As much as they say he wasn't a fit and get rid of him and all these fans and players is crying, they did that and now the team is worse. How does that make sense? And they brought in a bunch of pieces. You know, Rob Palenka made all these trades, brought in all these pieces that is supposed to upgrade the team and the roster. The results is one in five. One in five. So now it's looking like Russell Westbrook was really scapegoated. So. Of course, some of us knew they scapegoated them to a certain extent, but now it's looking like they really scapegoated Russell Westbrook. They place all the blame on him, and him being out of town now doesn't change anything. If anything, it's worse. The results are worse. Look at the metrics. The Lakers are losing games. And when LeBron was out early on during the season and Russell Westbrook was playing with Anthony Davis, they was winning games. They even went on a winning streak at one point without LeBron. Yes, AD was playing at an MVP level, but Russ was also doing his thing. So that says a lot, man. You got to see things for what it is. Russell Westbrook was scapegoated. The proof is in the pudding. They brought D'Angelo Russell back to L.A. 
I'm thinking, okay, he could shoot, right? Possibly he could shoot better than Russ. Yeah, he got a better shot, more range. That's going to help. He's a better fit, supposedly. And even so, they're one and five. So what happened? What's going on here? All these better fits, supposedly, these players that fits better, and all these pieces they brought in, and they're one and five, so I'm confused. I mean, by the consensus, isn't D'Angelo Russell better than Russell Westbrook? I mean, if you let them tell it, they'll tell you he's better, right? He's a better shooter, he's a better fit, and he's better for the Lakers. That's what they would tell you, right? So why is the team losing? What's going on? I mean, is it the coaching? And I'm not going to put all this on Darvin Ham. No, I'm not going to do that. Don't get me wrong. He could make some better coaching decisions, yes. So I'm not going to shield him from some of the blame, but I'm not going to put this on him like it's his fault. Let's be honest. Anthony Davis got to work a lot harder now since Russell Westbrook got traded because Russ would set him up for buckets, easy buckets. You know, Russ would push the ball, transition. I'm not saying Russell Westbrook didn't play bad. Prior to being traded, he was playing bad. I'm not going to make, I'm not going to pretend that he was doing great through the entire season because he wasn't. But was he to blame for the Lakers' failure? No, he was not to blame for the Lakers' failure. Even though they scapegoated him, whenever Russell Westbrook played bad, they had more ammo, more fuel for the fire. They had ammunition to try to blame him. Now he's out of town and it didn't make any different. Zero different. All the trades they made, parts, brought in new players and all this, so far I'm not seeing any difference in the results. If anything, it's worse. Believe it or not, it is worse now than it was before when they had Russell Westbrook, which now leads to question like, what's going on? So you mean to tell me with all these new players they brought in, all these pieces that's supposed to upgrade the team, this is an upgrade to the roster, why are they not winning games? I know LeBron James is not playing and he's, he's been sitting out ever since he broke the record. You know, he's load managing. But why are they not winning games? I'm trying to understand this. What's going on? What is going on with this team? So essentially, getting rid of Russell Westbrook didn't solve anything. At least currently. Maybe moving forward, but right now, it didn't solve anything. They're still losing. If anything, the team is looking worse. Without Russell Westbrook. That's crazy. The team might do better moving forward down the road. It's still early, but we have a six game sample size. And so far, it's not looking good, man. It is not looking good. I know it's not easy to fit new pieces in right away. I I, I get it. You got to integrate new pieces into the offense and in your schematics and what you're trying to do. I get it. But one and six, man, that is crazy. They should have won that game in OKC when LeBron broke the record. But LeBron was more focused on his individual success, his individual achievements, and blew the game. He got the necessary points needed to break Kareem's record, but they lost the game. I will say this though, man. Having an energetic point guard coming off your bench that gives you about 8 assists, 15 to 18 points, and rebounds, that's a big asset. I mean, you need an energy guy off the bench. When Russell Westbrook comes in, he's a ball of energy. But he's not there anymore. And now there's no one to scapegoat. So you know they're probably going to turn to somebody else. And by the looks of things, it's going to probably be Rui Hachimura or Anthony Davis. More so Anthony Davis. Since LeBron ain't playing, you know they're going to start coming to Anthony Davis. That's what they do, basically. They're going to find somebody new to scapegoat. While LeBron is load managing and nothing is wrong with him, I could tell you this. There's nothing wrong with that man. He's resting up, preserving himself for the All-Star game. So from reports that came out, the Lakers and Russell Westbrook relationship fell apart like during the trade deadline in that time frame. Of course, man, when LeBron James is over here saying he won Kyrie, the man is on the team, obviously making the man feel like he's not wanted because, you, you know, you wanted Kyrie. You're basically throwing the man under the bus and you're supposed to be his teammate. Of course, that's going to tarnish the relationship between Russell Westbrook and the team. Like, obviously. So LeBron didn't help the situation. And the way he, I mean, you don't do stuff like that, man. The man is on the team and you're making this dude feel like straight shh because 
you're pushing for Kyrie and you're championing for Kyrie while throwing Russell Westbrook under the bus. So, of course, in the end, you know, he blew up and they had to trade him. Of course, they was trying to move him anyway, but it was like urgency. They had to trade him because now it's too toxic. This is also partially LeBron's fault with the, with the whole Kyrie situation and championing for Kyrie. So a lot of people handled the situation was handled wrong. But beyond all that, in a nutshell, they probably was better off keeping Russell Westbrook, truthfully, because they're not doing better without him. I mean, is D'Angelo Russell making a big impact? No. All the new pieces they brought in, I don't see the impact. So they probably would have been better off just riding out the season with Russell Westbrook. Probably made the plan. Who knows? But it is what it is, man. All in all, we'll see what happened with Laker Nation, man. But yeah, Russell Westbrook was somewhat scapegoated. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying partially not his fault because he did play bad down the stretch. He played bad. I ain't going to lie to you. Down the stretch, coming toward the trade deadline for a few weeks, yeah, he was playing pretty bad. So I'm not going to sit here and lie. But overall, for both seasons, for two seasons, being a Laker, they did scapegoat him. He did. He was scapegoated. But you know better. He had a great situation in Washington with Bradley Beal. He dragged him to the playoff single-handedly. Beal was injured. The man dragged the team to the playoff. Had a great situation. Left that situation to go play with LeBron. Anybody who know LeBron knows or know the history knows when you play with LeBron James, any issue, you're going to be the scapegoat. That's just how it works. They will, the media and the fans will never blame LeBron. Any issue that arrive, guess who they're going to blame? Russell Westbrook. You have multiple years of sample size to work with, and you still took his butt over there to play with LeBron. I get it. He's from L.A. Yes, he wanted to go back home, possibly. The dream of playing for the Lakers, I, I could imagine. The man wanted to play for the Lakers, but it was bad timing. You don't go to play for the Lakers with LeBron James on the team, if you know the history and you know how things work. because. Anything that goes wrong, when the team lose, they don't make the playoff, whatever the situation is, somebody has to be scapegoated. And he's an easy target. You know, he's not the best shooter. Obviously, you know, he's somebody who has an attitude. He's an arrogant person. So he's an easy target for them to say it's his fault. He should have known that. So I don't know why he took his butt to L.A., man. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.